Hello everyone, it's good to see you. Thanks so much for tuning into this video. I hope you're all having a great week, that you had a good weekend, and that your studies are treating you well. I'm checking in with you guys today to give you the update on how my first three weeks of surgery have been, um, and to tell you a little bit about what I've been doing for the last couple of weeks, and just kind of give you the uh, quick summary of um, what I'm seeing in the OR, and what type of surgeon I'm with, uh, and that type of thing. I have a 12 week rotation in surgery, I think that's pretty standard uh, for most medical students, although some schools do 8 weeks instead of 12, I, ha <coughs> I have 12 weeks. And instead of working in general surgery, my surgical rotation experience for the full tw 12 weeks is going to be with an orthopedic surgeon. Now I could have chosen to go with a preceptor who is more in general surgery or I think there's a really popular bariatric surgeon that a lot of students um, can choose to go with from my school or from a lot of different Caribbean medical schools. We all kind of get channeled to the same preceptors in the city. Um, but I know that there are some different options, but I actually chose this preceptor uh, because I had heard really great things. About about them and I also knew that the schedule was very flexible. As you guys know, I have never really considered pursuing surgery as a specialty, therefore I actually picked this preceptor because I knew that the schedule was light, um, it wasn't going to be crazy and I wasn't going to be worked like a slave throughout the 12 weeks. I really wanted to use this time to study for my board exams. Um, and I actually had originally planned to have this rotation as my last core, but uh, the way things ended up working out, there was a preceptor that I wanted for psychiatry um, where something happened and so I had to get my schedule switched around. So now I have all this free time to study uh, mid-year. So that being said, my schedule is only three days a week, which for me is awesome. For someone who's not particularly interested in surgery, um, I get that awesome clinic time inpatient and I will get some OR experience, but um, I get a lot of time to myself to just relax and to study and you know have a social life, so that's really great for me. And the fact that I'm with an orthopedic surgeon as opposed to a general surgeon means that I get to see a lot of musculoskeletal disorders and um, pathology that you wouldn't typically see in a, a rotation with a general surgeon. So most days we're working in the ortho clinic, which is in the hospital. Uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, we work at three different hospitals. So Wednesday, one hospital, next day, different hospital, so on and so forth. And we're primarily seeing patients who've been referred to us by their PCPs uh, for all types of musculoskeletal conditions. So far, we have mostly seen osteoarthritis, uh, adhesive capsulitis, uh, there's a lot of fractures, dislocations, uh, people who need or have already gotten hip replacements, uh, knee replacements. We do a lot of steroid injections. So our job as a student in this setting is to really just see the patient and get everything done before the doc gets there. So we do everything from uh, vitals and the full physical for range of motion, um, the whole musculoskeletal exam, we do all of that. Uh, then we do the history, everything from family history, allergies, um, surgical history obviously, all the way down to what medications they're taking and what they're coming in for, complaining of today, and doing a thorough evaluation of the patient before we present them to the physician. And so a lot of the times the patients will have radiographs that we need to look at or um, just results from MRIs or CT scans, what have you. So our attending will take us uh, either open the radiographs in the patient's room or we'll go see them outside and he has been really great at teaching us how to properly interpret uh, most frequently MRIs and also x-rays. So then we go through those results see what's going on, go back to the patient room, tell the patient what's going on, tell them what the treatment's gonna be, and then we either um, help fill out the prescriptions, get them on their way, refer them to a physical therapist, and or give them injections on site. And so that's one thing that has been really cool about this rotation so far is that I have been able to assist in um, some shoulder injections. So we do the uh, glenohumeral and then the subacromial injections with just Kenalog. And then we also do the knee injections. And then I've also been able to go up to the OR and observe the attending when he does the epidural TESI procedures. So overall, that's pretty much what I have been seeing and the things that I've been doing for the last two or three weeks, I think it's been, since I started surgery. It's been pretty laid back. Uh, we don't have too many patients every day, so we're kind of just, you know, 
going from one patient to the next and then sometimes we have a lot of downtime uh, either to chart or to just study and so uh, it's just been nice to get familiarized with the whole MSK system um, and see the way that an orthopedic surgeon works. My preceptor is so great, he's done some really amazing things in this uh, community and uh, so it's been really awesome to learn from him and also get to know some of the other students. As you guys know, I will do a full update and review at the end of my 12 weeks all about my surgical rotation and let you know how I have studied and what I am planning to study and what I learned by the end of the rotation, but for now, you will just be hearing from me from my regular updates. So that's it for today's video. I hope you guys have an awesome week. If you have any questions, concerns, comments, leave them below and I will check them out and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.